Today we are going to test the range on the Kukirin G4. I really hope we don't run out of battery in the middle of nowhere, that's why I will be riding both fast and efficient in order to conserve the battery, especially when going uphill. If you enjoyed this video, it will be amazing if you could help grow our community. Subscribe if you haven't already, you are amazing and let's dive into the video. I should fix that squeaking noise. So, we are starting with 619 km full battery on race mode as usual. The uphill part of this trip concerns me, not because this scooter doesn't have the power to do it, but it drains more battery when doing so. That's why I will not go full throttle uphill. Instead, what I like to do is to go as fast as possible downhill, as you probably saw in my other videos or reels. Let's take a short break in this spot. The motor is just a little bit warm, and that's normal. Good dogs, not gonna lie. I really like these roads, how about you guys? Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite kind of trails? When it comes to stability, the 11 inch tires help a lot, combined with the included steering damper. The G3 Pro also has a lot of stability, but I wouldn't say the same when it comes to the G2 Master, where you really have to hold the handlebars tight at those speeds, just to make sure it will not start wobbling. This video will be longer than usual. I saw that some of you guys prefer longer videos, but in the same time I want to create the content such anyone could have the time to watch it. This is the part where I will stop talking and let you enjoy the ride. This is a nice spot. We've been riding 18 kilometers so far. The temperature is still normal, so we are all good. We've been riding uphill until now, so it's time to go downhill. This is my favorite part of this trip.
So, we have only 10% battery left. The total ride was 44 kilometers long. We could add maybe 5 kilometers from this last red line and we would have a total of 50 kilometers trip. Not bad if we take into consideration the speed we were going. For sure, you could squeeze a lot more range out of it in the day-to-day -day use. And that was it for this video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.